three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend. So hey guys, how are you? Happy Fantabulous Saturday. It is Saturday. I don't even know what time it is. I think it is. Uh, I should look at the time on the clock, but I don't. I don't know what time it is, but. We still don't have power. What time is it? Um, 2.38. It's 2.38. And we still don't have power, you guys. Can y'all see me? Okay, so it's 2.38 and we still don't have power. And I spoke to... I spoke to um, the, the utility company, and they said that we literally, like, we won't have power until about midnight tomorrow, which is Sunday, and that's an estimate. It's not a guarantee. Um, what happened was there was a um, there's a big old pine tree that fell down on the pole on the wires which then pulled down the pole the utility pole and it broke in half so <laughs> we don't have any power um it's a few of us that don't have any power and my daughter's school also doesn't have any power because her school is operating on that same utility wire so sh her school doesn't have um, power either and they said it's probably midnight tomorrow before we can get power back so we're literally going to be going through the same thing that we went through last night tonight and all day tomorrow hopefully we don't have to go through that um, all day tomorrow but I just figured I, I'm still in the same clothes we cannot even take showers because we have no hot water at all so I'm in the same clothes from Friday, <laughs> which is, uh, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, we were able to get through the night last night, thank God, with, a, with um, the fireplace. And then the generator went out at about 4.30 in the morning. And our neighbor came over at 5 to restart the generator. And then it went out again, like after 11 this morning. So we were on, that was like our second generator. And so he just gave us his big, humongous generator. I'm going to show it to you guys. Hopefully y'all can see it. <laughs> can y'all see it? So this little orange one here was the first generator that we were on and that went out and then he hooked it up to his generator another small generator then this one went out at 11 like 11 15 this morning so now he got us hooked up to this bad boy right here and apparently it's supposed to you know be able to take us throughout the next couple of days or so if if need be but it, so far it's doing really well i mean i got um i got the crock pot set up so I had some food in the refrigerator that I was able to warm up. So, so I have the crock pot set up and that's warming that up. And then I have, this is, this is the situation basically. Let me show you the situation. <laughs> that's Michaela over there. She's sleeping. That's Mikey, his computer, his television with his video game. Um, we still have the fireplace going, crock pot, light, Christmas tree for light. Um, that's Mikey's, Mikey's bed set up. And then that's Nyla sleeping on the couch, my bed. And then we have this propane heater. Um, this propane is made to be on the inside of the house. 
my neighbor brought it over for us because the house was so cold. It was like 37 degrees last night, so it was super duper freezing. Um, so he brought that over, and it's like heating up so nicely. This is the setup in the foyer. Um, yeah, I had to block the staircase because Nyla kept trying to go upstairs to her room, and it is freezing upstairs. It is so cold. Like, literally, once the heat comes back on, I'm going to have to turn every thermostat up to, like, 80 or 90 just to get the house to get back to, like, a comfortable temperature temperature because it is so cold. So, I had to put the chairs there to block her so she wouldn't go upstairs. And this is just there right now because she's sleeping and we're up walking around. But at night, we're going to take this and put it in the corner um, over there in the dining room where she won't be able to get to it. And then we have this little space heater right here going to kind of warm up the dining room kitchen area. Um, yeah, but this is what, this is, this is the situation. <laughs> this is the situation, y'all. Oh my gosh, my house is like a hazardous uh, place right now. The refrigerator is right here. I had to bring it out closer because, um, I needed the cord to be longer to go out there in order to be able to plug every the fireplace in. So I had to bring the refrigerator forward um, so that we can have the refrigerator plugged in and everything else plugged in. But this is the situation right now, you guys. And Daddy, Daddy BZ is home. He is home and he brought us some food and everything. So we were able to eat some lunch and we had some stuff here, fruits and stuff for breakfast, so we were able to do that. But, y'all, this is like for real, for real. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to get this thing tight on here. I don't think this is for the phone. The, I don't think this is for the camera, but I think I'm going to go see if I can find my camera tripod. But, for real, for real, guys, this is like survival at its fittest at its finest. I am literally just, yep, hold on, hold on guys. Can y'all see me? Okay, so I'm literally just, just trying to make do with everything. Um, I'm still, I'm looking a hot mess, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get through the day, get through the weekend. But it is absolutely crazy. It's nuts. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. It hasn't been totally bad. Um, we've been able to sleep. I didn't really sleep too well throughout the night. I'm going to take y'all in the dining room because Nyla is snoring up a storm. <laughs> um, I didn't really sleep too well last night just because Nyla was kind of up at like 12 midnight. So I didn't really get to sleep well um, that much. But I still was able to get a little bit of, get a little bit of sleep. But it's like sunny outside. Look, all the leaves are gone. The windstorm came and literally took all the leaves off the tree in in one hour. <laughs> it's crazy. All the leaves are gone, you guys. I wanted to take like fall pictures with the kids in the backyard and in the front yard and I had no idea that we were going to have a windstorm. I didn't even know that we have windstorms up um up up north, but <sighs> there's a first for everything. So anyway, I think what I'm going to try to do, since Nyla is sleeping and there's really nothing else that we can do, I think I'm going to try to take down fall, my fall decor, um, and try to get those put away and just set up like my Christmas trees in my dining room. I think that's what I'm going to try to do and um, pack, put fall stuff away for now as much as I possibly can. So that's what I'm going to do in the foyer and I'm going to do that in the dining room right now is just 
put the fall stuff away and set up the Christmas tree. I'm not going to decorate it, but I am just going to put it up. So come along with me right now as we do that. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes I can take another night with you on like this So let's go, I'm sure you can take it You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep He's a vagabond, he won't love you better I can watch you sinking down on the bottom ship So come to ten then again, Mississippi You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep Another cause and we can fly with the bass
is shaking but not stirred Just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn in your own except for the living room so I obviously I can't go in there and take anything um, down because well maybe I can but it's just a lot going on in there so I'm just gonna wait until once we get the lights back on then I'll go into the living room clean it up and get everything out for fall out of the living room and then I'll attack that space um, but for now I got everything out from the dining room, from the foyer, and the kitchen for fall, and yeah, so now I am just going to take inventory of what I have for Christmas and um, kind of get that set up. My second Christmas tree is actually, so I have three Christmas trees that are flocked. Um, I pulled the two from outside because the wind uh -huh. like literally blew them oh, so far <laughs> off the porch. Um, and actually broke the stand on one of my tree. Luckily, I do have a stand in my holiday closet that I am going to, um, I'll be able to use, so that's a good thing. Um, I'll be able to use it on that one. So I'm going to have two dining, two Christmas trees, two flock Christmas trees in my dining room, and then I'm going to have a green tree, um, seven and a half feet green tree in the foyer, and then in the living room, I'm going to have another flocked Christmas tree in the living room. So, and I'm really only um, decorating for decorating downstairs this year. Um, my kids want Christmas trees in their rooms. I don't know, but I'm, I'm really just going to decorate for downstairs this year um, for Christmas. I haven't touched upstairs in terms of renovations or anything yet, so that's kind of I don't remember where I, where I left off my battery died, um, but for the most part, um, yeah. So the two flock Christmas trees is going to be in the dining room, and I'm going to get those together and get my living room together once we have power and everything. My husband just told me that the um, utility company, they're actually on the block, and they're working on our power lines right now, so that is great news. So hopefully we can have power before the night is out today. That will be amazing. But I am going to get this video wrapped up and I am going to get this place cleaned up as much as I can. And um, yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can do a cleaning video for you guys. I don't know how much cleaning I can get done. But um, the next video is basically I'm going to be taking inventory of, the, of my Christmas, you know, everything that I have for Christmas see what I have. I did get a few things for Christmas. I am going to be doing a Christmas haul um, sometime coming up next week, but I am going to take inventory of what I have. I have tons of stuff in the garage that I have to go and get, so you guys will get to see that as well. But for now, um, thank you guys so much for watching, for encouraging us, and for praying for us. You guys have been so awesome on the last video that I uploaded about us having no power and no heat. Thank you so much for your prayers and your encouragement. We feel it and we we receive it and we appreciate you guys so much. We love y'all so much and continue to pray for us. Um, the prayers are going up and they're working, so continue to pray for us and I will see you guys in the next episode. If you are new to my channel and you have never seen all of this before, <laughs> I got that from Paige Daniel. That's my girl. I love her so much. But if you haven't seen this face before, um, you know, my name is Shoshana and I am the content creator of Regal Designs by Shoshana. And I also have a interior decorating events planning company um, store and everything that is coming to you guys. Regal Designs by Shoshana. So we're working on that and that should be coming very, very soon. 
I do decorating, I do um, shopping hauls, I do house cleaning, you know, I do um, mommy vlogs, all those things, crafts and, and, and everything like that on my channel. So if you think that that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Also, I would love for you to hit that bell so that you will get new notifications of whenever I do upload videos. Um, hopefully, I can really start to upload Christmas videos. <laughs> um, that was my intent yesterday, uh, the 1st of November, but it didn't happen that way. But thank God I'm still able to put some videos out. But um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And for my only but goodies, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, you guys are my heart. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah to all of you guys for your support, for your prayers, for your love, and just for your encouraging words. So I'm going to see you guys in the next episode, and I hope you guys are having a fantabulous day because I'm having a fantabulous day. And yeah, love y'all, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.